So hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the infographic uh, tool in RGIS Pro. So now let's get started. So uh, this is the infographic tool uh, which is available in the map uh, ribbon here. So uh, let me click this particular one. So I uh, use S3's uh, Geo Enrichment Service to view the infographics for an area of interest by clicking on the polygon or for a buffered distance driving distance or drive time when you click a point so before using the infographic tools uh, let me use select uh, this particular tool called uh, the locate tool so once you click that the window pop up here you can able to see that so in the search section uh, i'm going to enter as uh, miami so once you enter as miami we have uh, many results here so in this uh, i'm going to select this particular result called miami florida usa So uh, you can able to see from this result, uh, we found it and the map uh, zoomed automatically to that location. So, uh, so now uh, I'm going to navigate to this tool called uh, infographic tools. So in the infographic tools, we have uh, two set of options here. So compare the selected features and uh, configure infographics. So you're going to select this tool here. And uh, this uh, infographic uh, tool provides you with, with an access to demographic and uh, landscape uh, data collection that uh, so that is provided by the S3, uh, the Geo Enrichment Services. So uh, to use this particular tool, uh, first uh, you need to uh, sign into, into your RGIS uh, account. So once we selected the infographic tools, they're going to navigate here. And uh, I'm going to click over this particular, uh, so this particular residential areas here. So you can able to see that. So I'm going to click here. So uh, this is the infographics window. So it's loading the data here. And here uh, you can able to see the result here. This is our window. So we have several uh, data here starting with the business key facts. So the total number of business. So uh, this particular area has a total number of business of around 3522. And the total employees is around 25,300 uh, employees. And the total sales here, it is given here, it is around 3.44. Uh, so this particular, which indicates the total sale, which is around $3.44 billion. So uh, S3 estimates the total annual sales for all business with North American uh, industries. Classification system, all business estimate based on the business listing provided by the data Excel. And the un unemployment rate is around 2.2 percentage and it is of urban core and uh, average uh, number of employees around 8.5 and the total business per uh, square mile uh, this is 1247.4 uh, percentage higher than Miami the Miami uh, Dade County so this particular one provides a lot of information here so uh, the tw top 25 largest business in the areas so based on the selected point, it creates a buffer and in that buffer, it shows the largest businesses in the area. So basically once clicking on those areas, so it gives us an information uh, kind of like this. So that information is derived uh, within a one mile uh, ring around uh, where I clicked. So from this window, uh, you can able to see we have a lot of data has been presented here. And the template, uh, you can select uh, different ones uh, here. For example, I've selected as uh, business key facts. So uh, we can go for uh, 2020 census summary. So uh, I'm going to select uh, this particular one. The census uh, summary. So now uh, we are presented with this set of information here. The 2020 census data includes information on population, housing, as well as the detailed data on age, sex, race, and uh, the Hispanic origin, household and family type, relationship to the householder, group uh, quarters population and housing companies and tenure and uh, the population is given here, the household and the household populations is given here, you can able to see the total population is around 66,070, the housing unit is around uh, 31,977, the population density and uh, the total household so we are presented with a lot of informations here so we can able to see here so uh, similarly uh, now i will show you uh, how uh, 
much info um, information is available uh, at the United States White House so uh, to do that again I'm gonna navigate to this particular window called locate and uh, I'm gonna enter as White House here so we have this particular result called White House uh, the 1600 uh, Pennsylvanian so I'm gonna close this window here and uh, let me search it one more time so it automatically navigated to our uh, suitable location here that is White House so again make sure that you select the infographic tool and once you selected it so we're gonna place a point over this particular area so it's loading the data here for White House so in the template uh, we're gonna navigate and select uh, the key facts so it's going to load the data again so the infographic uh, tool uh, shows a similar information uh, what we observed in the Miami so starting with the key facts here the population so around 46,306 is the population an average household size is 1.5 and uh, the median age is around 31.3 and uh, the medica the median uh, household income is around so which is around one hundred and eighteen thousand dollars and uh, the no high school uh, diploma is around three point one and the high school graduate is around two point nine and ho the some colleges and associate uh, degrees is five point five and the bachelor uh, degree and professor degree uh, it is around eight eighty eight point five and the total number of businesses uh, here is around fourteen thousand nine hundred and thirty five and the total employees around 279938 and it even provides the employment here so that is the white collar jobs which is around 92.6% uh, and the blue collar which is around 1.1% and the services it provides 6.3% and uh, the unemployment rate is around 2.9 and last the income uh, it provides the income here the median uh, household income uh, similar to what we observed earlier and per capita income is around uh, $96,000 and uh, the median net worth is around $117,000 and uh, in the template section here we have a uh, different options to select uh, we have selected only the key facts here so we have uh, different options that is available here starting with the census at risk population business key facts and uh, the community change uh, snapshots and demographic profiles the eating places economic development profiles and uh, multi-area comparison non-profit uh, charitable uh, profiles the population trends shopping and spending the skyscrapers and uh, what's in my community there's a lot of information that is given in this option called template so uh, now we selected only the key facts so one thing uh, which is needs to be uh, noted that uh, when you are using this uh, infographic button or the tool uh, you will be consuming some of your organization's uh, credit and uh, this is the quick uh, int uh, intro about the infographic uh, tool in RGIS Pro so uh, in this video I have shown you uh, how to use the infographic tool in RGIS Pro so thanks for watching and uh, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and give us a like